Hello, Friendly Man here once again, and I am here to give you a uh, kind of walkthrough for learning how to play chess with Fritz and Chester. I made this video a couple times before, that's why the names are up there, and the first time a telephone rang and destroyed my footage, the second time um, I actually had no sound at all. So let's see if we can do this again. Okay, uh, I am going to only go to the Intelligim and 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 then see if uh, you like it or not. So when you first start up this guy actually talks. So if you click on him he he'll say the same thing. Listen, all young heroes well, whom the chess game doth compel. Aspiring masters of the game, come and enter here your name. Then, I beg, click on the seal. The world of chess awaits your zeal. What does he want? You've got to enter your name. Or if it's already on the list, click on it. And then click on the seal. Get it? All right. Okay, so I'm just going to put... Another name on there. Uh, and this one's going to be zero 01. <laughs> and let's get on with the show here. Learn to play chess with Fritz and Chester. Once upon a time, there was a small country. A very, very small country. And this very small country was ruled by a very wise king. In fact, he was the wisest king that had ever been. And he was called King White. What's wrong? Aren't you feeling well? Yes. No. I don't know. I can't really be bothered with it all anymore. Perhaps we should go to the seaside for a few days. Impossible. A king can't just go on holiday. Who'd stand in for me? Our son Fritz, of course. It's only for a few days. And his cousin Bianca is here too. I'm sure she'll help him. Won't you, Bianca? Sure! Cool! Free run of the castle! And you get to play king! I think we'll have a lot of fun. I'm not really sure. That mini bit of rolling. Wait until we get going. They won't know it's hit them. There you are, you see. What's the problem? I really like the idea of going on holiday. So, how does it feel being the king's stand-in? Half good to almost bad, if you ask me. Well, I think it's great. A challenge is given to King White to drop all tasks and come to fight. A tournament of great import, not without much danger fraught. While King and Queen are far away, King Black decides on unfair play. He challenges the stand-in king to a duel he's sure he'll win. A duel? Let him finish. To the arena he must hurry. There is no time to stop and worry. There's no way out that he may take. He's duty-bound. Make no mistake. What did he want? Oh, no. If I understood him correctly, I've got to go to the arena and fight a duel with King Black. A duel? Wow! Now this I've got to see. You mean I have to battle it out with King Black while you just sit and watch, stuffing yourself with popcorn? Exactly. I mean, no, of course not. I'll help you, silly. Okay, so now you can start uh, doing some stuff like clicking on things. Here's a little mouse. Here's the chess pieces going over the side, and then with the knight back. <laughs> um, 
Hey, is something going to happen here before we all go to uh, sleep? So that's what we want to, I want to just like, uh, t t say, talk about, when I bought this video, I bought it when, um, uh, a couple years back for my students, but the video at the time was going around was called uh, Chess, um, there we'll, we'll keep on going, it was called Chess Dinosaur, and, and then when I was starting to read the reviews, who's that? King Kaleidoscope, an old friend of my granddad's. Hello Fritz, I was just on my way to visit your mum and dad. Oh, they've gone away on vacation. And we're off now, too, because we've just had a super cool invite to our own personal duel against King Black, in some arena or other. Oh, my goodness. Is that a bad thing? Or is it even a little dangerous? Not really, but it's a question of honor, and King Black is not one to mess around with. No one's beaten him for years. The last person to do it was him, your granddad Fritz. God rest his soul. E4. E5. It was a historic tournament. Accepted. At first, he acted as though he wouldn't hurt a fly. But secretly, he was busy yeah. wrapping King Black round his little finger before finishing him off good and proper. You should be really proud of him, Fritz. Tax the queen. Drops the bishop. This is where he sacrifices. Looks like he's going to win the queen, but he doesn't. Moves the knight away so he can uh, get the queen out. Attacks the rook, but he attacks the queen. Now, two rooks are hanging here. So he takes the rook, fortifies the bishop. Check. King has a new square. Deflect the knight. And checkmate. There you go. like these king's duels are really easy. Anyway, you should definitely get in some brain training at the Intelligym before you go. The what? It's a kind of training center for trainee duelers near the arena. I'll show you how to get there. Okay, if I hit this uh, king again, we'll, we'll go through the game again. We're not going to go through the game again. I just wanted to finish off what I was saying was I, uh, play, I was reading some reviews about but this, and they, a lot of people don't like this, this, uh, this video set. And to be honest with you, I think it's the best thing because you're learning about chess in a way that you don't even know what you're learning. These are all transferable skills. So that's why I want to make this video to show you that you can learn some stuff in chess without not even knowing you're doing it. And, and also, when you're it, when I was reading the reviews on Amazon, it, they almost seem like they're all the same. So I want to show you, show people, it's not all the same, and we can, you know, learn how to play chess. I think this, these are great videos. Uh, I think we should have a closer look around okay, here. So what do you have to do in a duel? You're the king, so you're the most important man. But you don't actually have to do very much. But I have to do a little bit, don't I? Yes, um, how can I best explain it? Do you know what sumo wrestling is? A kind of judo for extremely fat people, isn't it? Exactly. These guys are sumo wrestlers. Imagine you're the red-haired one. If you can push the other one off the mat, then you're the winner. And how do I do that? You have to click on one of the adjacent squares. Your player can then move on to it. 
but you're not allowed to stand right next to the other wrestler. You're both too fat for that. If you're careful and keep an eye out for your opponent's mistakes, you can push him off the mat. If you haven't done it in 20 turns, then he's won. That's mean. Not at all. You've got a fair chance. Your opponent is only human too, and everyone makes mistakes. So, here's the thing. You're learning about opposition and king movement here, but you don't really know that you're learning that. And truth of the matter is, you can actually never force your king off to one of these four corners. So, okay, he is, he's, ha this program is going to make a mistake. Okay. So, that's, this was actually a bad move. I shouldn't have done that, but I just know he's going to do a bad, he's going to make a mistake. Oh, Let's see if you can get him to go back. He has opposition. Come on. See if he goes into the square. Oh, come on. There, I won. See, I could never really force him. He, he would always beat me. Hey, I won. And what do I do if I want to play again? Click on the gong. Okay. Uh, let's keep on moving. These towers were originally built to help families with a lot of children live all together. Unfortunately, they were built quick as a flash in a really cheapskate way, and they aren't very stable. The main thing is, you've got a roof over your head. As long as it doesn't fall down on top of you. So, it's really interactive. You can see that, you know, it talks, it's showing you things. It's, it's a real good program that way. And doesn't look very inviting. Who lives in a thing like that? This is where Tremblina Saver Penny lives. A very rich and miserly old woman. She only bought the tower because it was so cheap. But if you're scared of spiders, then living in such a building with all its nooks and crannies isn't very much fun. And is she? Terrified! Old Saverpenny is famous for being miserly, and she's always on the lookout for more money to save. Show her a way around without meeting any spiders. Do you think you can do that? Sure, but how do I move? Use the arrow keys. Come on, let's get See, going. This is, you're learning how to use the rook. And this is great, you know, to, to use the rook this way. Okay. And you're really just playing Pac-Man. Oh! <laughs> oh! There you go. So 
So the trick is you have to get all these coins. Okay? And if you get these coins, you can get your put your name on a list where everybody can can challenge you and see if they can beat you off the list. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Get around there somehow. Let's see if I can block him in or good. There. Oh four. Right. Hey, the speed increases. Oh I tried to see if I could see it by, but it couldn't. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I lost my life. But you can see that I... You did really well. As a reward, you can enter your name here. Then click on the seal to continue the game. Wonderfully played. See, I, I got fifth on, on when I was doing it the last time. But this one, I only got ninth. But I was, I'm able to, you know... So this is a good way to learn and, you know, chess, by playing, you know, Pac-Man and stuff like that, and develops the storyline. What's that shack over there? That's King Black's castle. The one who's challenged me to a duel? Precisely. And you never guess what his hobby is. He collects traps for mice and rats, and no one knows why. What a strange guy! I'd really like to beat that mean old King Black. Take it easy, young lady. Don't get so excited. Hey, okay. and it's good, you know, for kids and stuff like Whoops. that. You know, they can play around with the scenes, you know. And they can learn how to play chess at the same time. I suppose this is where the traps King Black collects are made. No, that's his china factory. It's where King Black trains before he challenges anyone to a duel. I think we really should get a look inside this place. Toilet bowls. There are loads of toilet bowls in here. If only they were soup bowls. Sometimes King Black comes here to train. He positions the block at the bottom so the ball can bounce off it to smash the toilets, taking as little time as possible. Want to try it? We can't do that. We can't just smash up someone else's toilets. But if that someone has waited until King White goes on vacation before challenging his young son to a duel, then you certainly can. Now go ahead. <laughs> So, in this thing, you're learning about bishops. Yeah. And this is the best thing. Like, you're having fun and you don't even realize you're learning about bishops. And... <clears throat> yeah. It's like breaking stuff up. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad, was it? Not at all. So now you can add your name to the list of the all-time greatest toilet smashers and then click on the seal. 
Not bad at I all. I got second already. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know, we just learned about bishops. Isn't that neat? What on earth was that? Lovely. There are flowers everywhere. Come on, let's go into the garden and find my wife. Of course, the flowers don't last forever. So, my darling queen has to hurry from one spot to the next, picking flowers for her bouquet. She can move diagonally or in a straight line, depending on which of the points on her crown you click on. That's easy but not as easy as it sounds. There are lots of different routes. Some are good and some take too long, so the flowers wilt and die before you get to them. Take a chance and try to take the shortest route because you haven't got much hey, this time. this is learning about queens. Hey, this is awesome. Hey. Very fun game to learn about queens. A quick tip amongst friends. Sometimes it's quicker if you combine two moves. A straight one with a diagonal one. What a nice bunch of flowers. You've done it. The vase is full. You don't get to put your name in this one. Pretty here. Yes, it's a nice place. Even if it's sometimes a bit smelly. It's the country, isn't it? What on earth was that? So this is my favorite one, learning out how to use the knight. There are horses here too. That could be important for the duel. Yes. Yeah, Can you ride, Fritz? A little. Then let's get some practice, okay? This is a show jumping course with different kinds of fences. You have to try and jump over them, taking the shortest possible route. Just jump over? That's a cinch. Only one problem, the horse, which in chess we call a knight, by the way, can only move like the letter L. Two forward and one to the side. You what? Two forward, one to the side but it can jump over obstacles that are in its way. Good thinking. Okay, so let's get the first thing. Hey, you're just like... You're a champion. Great time and hardly any jumps. You're a natural. I mean, you're learning so much about chess. And it's like, oh, this is neat.
Well jumped, my knight. So you have to get to this square. Now, how do I get there? Now, oh, there we go. Now I have to get to this square. Well, there's two ways here, here, or here. There. That's the way to do it. Keep it up. Terrific jumping. Good job. Ready for the Olympics, I'd say. Elegantly jumped and no mistakes. This candidate is ready for the next round. So you have to go in order, one, two, three, and so, oh. Wow, that was great jumping. Can't wait till next time. to the wrong side? I probably did. A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Let's move on! Now, even for a senior player as myself, I'm still having a little bit of difficulty. And I have done stuff with the knights for many years. Well done! Okay, and this is great for kids. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to jump around a little bit, and uh, and I'm going to purposely uh, show you what happens if you don't do it in a certain amount of jumps here. Your trusty steed has run out of breath, but why not try again? Do it again. Here, I'll get real close to the number two so you can see that where the path is. Okay, so it's boom to the carrot, but I'm going to go here instead. Going back. You could do with a bit more horsepower with the lengths you're taking. Try again and take a shorter route. If you need a hint, you can get now, it see, here. Now see, it shows you the hint. So if you go over top, look, this is the path that you have to take.
Hooray! Now you've done all the courses. Now it goes right back to course number one. Now let's continue. How much further is it to this brain-building intelligium? We're nearly there. But I want to show you something else first. Can you see that village? Over there, you can find out about the pawns from Pleasantville and their game, Pawn Whopping. Pawn Whopping? Pleasantville Pawn Whopping. It's a mixture of football, wrestling, and karate. Wow, we've got to see this. In Pleasantville Pawn Whopping, there are two teams who try to get to the land owned by the opposite team. Knock on each of the doors and they'll explain it to you in more detail. But please, knock on the doors in the right order. Okay, so, this is the best part about like something like this. You, you're, you don't have to be reading. They're just going to tell you what the moves are and they're going to show you. And this is where you go, wow, you know. Like, the technology to, you know, educate people is right there. I just did a review on how to play the piano, and I'm still going through the course, and, you know, I have to be reading and reading and reading. Like I said, I don't mind the reading, but you can do something like this. Watch this. Right, so you want to try, do you? Well, let me explain what you have to do then. Here in Pleasantville, it goes like this. You just go forward one step at a time. One step. Got it? And, and see, now you're learning about pawns, you know? I don't know why you can't do this for piano. What I always say is, walk on and whop them. If one of them others decides to stay put diagonally in front of you, then whop him one and he's out of the game. It's great fun, believe me. Off we go. <laughs> There's another trick you should know. On the first move, your pawn can go forward two steps instead of just one. But only on your very first move. After that, it's not allowed, okay? And now you only need to know what en passant means. And you have to watch out with this one. The other pawn has moved two steps forward, but you can get him by pretending he's only gone forward one step. Yeah, let's play the game. Off you go. White makes the first move, and then you've got to get going and make sure you make it to the other side. And you've got to watch out that one of theirs doesn't get to your side first, because then you've lost. Take over the center. Okay, he's challenging me right away. I'm going to... Back them up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. If I move two, okay, he'll win. So I can only have to move one here. I put him in zig swing, and looks like he's gonna beat me anyways. Now that is a shame. We lost. You want to play again? Then just click on the doghouse. Oh man, I gotta play again. I want to show you I can win. The famous Pleasantville Pawn Whooping Contest okay, can thanks. begin. Always take over the contender.
now. Ooh. If I go here, take, takes. Oh, here. Oh, I can take and run. I'll just... Oh, I don't want to assault him. Now I won, see? I told you I could win. <laughs> We've won! We've won! We've won! Hey. Now, what have we got here? King White? And who is this accompanying him? The terribly fat and terribly untalented Mr. Kaleidoscope. Good day, Mr. K. Still enjoying your just desserts? <laughs> King Black, it's totally irresponsible to challenge a child to a duel. Oh, come on, come on. Nothing will happen to him except perhaps that I will beat him and trample on his honor. And by trampling on his honor, I will be trampling on the honor of his father and his grandfather. Who beat you? Or can't you remember? There's no need to talk about that. And after all, it isn't my fault that Fritz's father has gone and left his son all alone. You'd been waiting for the moment when my parents went away. And what if I had? I'm certainly going to do all I can to help Fritz. He's going to train in the brain-building intelligence. Ha ha ha! Go ahead. Then our duel might be a bit more interesting, at least. What a... No, I won't say it. I'd only get in trouble. But one thing's for sure, we're going to train like mad in this intelligence so that we have that mean old king squirming at our feet, begging for forgiveness. I don't really have any other choice in the matter. Here we are, then. This is the brain-building intelligence. So this is where we're going to do our training. That's right. And in the meantime, I'm going to go for a little walk. So this is where you're going to learn the basics. Any idea what we're supposed to do here? Nope. Okay, like I was saying, this is where you learn the basics of chess and stuff like that. And you're going to get a, a, a nice coach here. All right, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, a rat. That a problem? Of course not. But maybe you can tell us what we're supposed to do here. It's more a question of whether I want to tell you. What are you doing here anyway? King Black has challenged me to a duel, and I'm supposed to be here training for it. King Black? Now he's started taking on children because they're easier to beat, I suppose. You know him, do you? Know him? In all the time I've been here in the Intelligem, I've watched a load of Grandmasters training. And I've kept a record of all of their best tricks. And King Black was stupid enough to challenge me to a duel. Did he learn here too? You bet he did. But I beat him soundly because I know the business. May I introduce myself? Chester, the Cheshire Rat, at your service. Hello, Chester. I'm Fritz, and I'm standing in for the king. And I'm Bianca, tender loving cousin of the king stand in. So how about it? You gonna show us what to do? If we're talking about King Black, I'll show you the ropes. And then you'll beat him hands down. You can fritz him, so to speak. <laughs> By the way, since I beat him, he hasn't been too keen on rodents like me. He's extremely ambitious, you see. Aha! That explains the traps in his castle. What a clever boy. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna end the video. But if you go here, that's uh, the trophy case. Behold the trophy cabinet, and now observe what you can get if you train hard and do your best.
you'll be rewarded for your zest. For in the end, your prize will be a shining cup for all to see. What's he saying? Train hard and you'll get trophies that are put in here. With the trophies, you get little sayings that will help you to learn. But I just want to show you this last thing right here. And what's that supposed to be? That's a chessometer. It weighs up whether you've learned enough to go on to the next workout room. What room's that? The workout room for middleweights. You didn't seriously think we'd done enough already, did you? How should I know? Up you go. What does it say? Can we join the middleweights? Nope. You need to do some more work with the lightweights first. Well, thanks for watching this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And come on back to maybe want to see some more of my videos. Okay. Also, you can go here. And this will show you, you can go back to, you know, the speed. So you don't have to walk all the way back. If you want to have a game of chess with somebody, you could uh, chess with the, you can go straight here. And this is the, the weight rooms. So this is where you would learn how to play chess. And, uh, and I was using this for, with my students for many years. And my students just love this. And the only one thing is, if you have young kids, you have to watch them a little bit because they don't know what they're doing and they start clicking on stuff and next thing they know, they're in a chess game and, you know, and they haven't walked through this path that we just did. So, uh, let's... Are you fridged out already? Do you want you to stop? Hit stop. And you can pick it up where you left off last time. You don't actually have to watch this. You can um, you can click on the button and then it will go with a colder one. It'll stop immediately right here. I'll show you.